this is Brad Harvey with Harvey Investment Management. Today we're going to talk about are you financially prepared to live past 100? Right now estimates show that there are approximately 72,000 centenarians in the United States. Centenarians, that's a good word, right? Well, that's people that live to be over 100 that are in the population right now. Are you prepared to live that long? This is a very interesting financial planning problem. Because do you feel that you're financially prepared to extend your life into the hundreds? Medical technology has certainly extended our lifespans. How do we handle that financially? Because we want to make sure, to the extent possible, that we don't outlive our money. So question number one as we're preparing for this is, is your current income from sources, whether you're in retirement or getting ready to retire, is that increasing or staying uh, in pace with inflation. We call those COLAs, cost of living adjustments. Are the income cash flows that you have, are they keeping pace with inflation? And if they're going to keep pace with inflation, does that go on until you die? There are certainly investment products out there that are trying to do that, but you want to keep that in mind because remember, a gallon of milk today costs a very different number than that same gallon of milk is going to cost 20 years from now. Number two, are you going to change where you live in retirement? Are you going to move to a condo in Florida? Are you going to sell your house? Are you going to buy three houses? Are you going to move to Costa Rica? This is going to impact your cash flow needs, your income needs. So if you're going to live to be past 100, where you live can certainly impact that. Are you going to be near a health care center? Are you planning on moving to be near your kids or grandkids? So that's part of the calculation in retirement. Are you going to change where you live? And the last one is, are you going to need savings to pay your bills? Put another way, are you going to need to spend principal dollars in order to pay for your bills or your cost of living? If that goes out to be 100 years old, what does that really mean? Are you going to run out of savings? So we need to be very careful as we're planning. When I first got into the industry 25 years ago, all retirement planning was based on a mortality between 72 and 80 years old. Now we're planning for mortalities in the 80s and 90s and beyond. So this has certainly changed over the years. So our question is, are you ready to live beyond 100? This is Brad Harvey. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. If there are other topics you'd like to hear about, please let us know. Have a great day.